Hello, I'm Charlie from Let Us Grow, an agriculture startup looking to help feed the next generation. By the year 2050, we need to increase our global food production by 70% to feed another 2 billion more mouths on our planet. This is whilst using 25% less of the farmland we currently have available in degrading soils and an ever more unstable and changing environmental climate. More and more people are moving into cities and urban centers, putting untold pressures on our already struggling agricultural systems. This is leading to a food waste crisis in our supply chains and a loss of knowledge of where our food actually comes from. Agriculture uses 70% of our global water. And when we look at the numbers for individual industries, it's really quite staggering how much water we're using. For example, just to grow lettuce, 3,500 billion liters are used every single year. That's the equivalent to every single household in the world, their weekly consumption. And when we look at CO2, the impact is similar. Lettuce production accounts for the same amount of CO2 as every single person in this room inviting a friend on a flight to Hong Kong and back every day for the next 65 years. The real problem with this, though, is around the supply chains. A lot of our production comes from only very few sources. So Spain produced 31% of our global lettuce exports, for example. And the fragility of these supply chains was really highlighted this year. First with the extreme cold weather, and then followed by one of the hottest summers we've had on record. And as we, treat, we really very well know, this isn't just happening in Europe. So at Let Us Grow, we wanted to get to the root of this problem, build a new solution from the ground up to help feed the next generation. And our aim is to empower the next generation of indoor farmers by providing them with the tools, both physical and non-physical, to help farm as efficiently as possible. So we've been building a world-class team of engineers, scientists, and biologists to help us on this mission. We've designed a whole new way to grow fresh produce using a technique called aeroponics, where the roots are actually exposed to a dense mist where they retrieve all of their nutrients. Growing these in indoor conditions all year round allows us to not have to use pesticides or herbicides in the production. And it means we can massively reduce the transportational cost of bringing your produce from your farm to your fork. So in our research center in Bristol in the UK, we've shown up to a 95% reduction in water usage by recirculating our water and nutrients. We've shown that compared to the industry standard of hydroponics, our plants grow 150% faster. And for our farmers, we can show predictable and consistent yields all year round. And this technology is what we supply to farmers in the UK at the moment, hardware and software so that they can farm sustainably. When you combine all of this, we can reach yields of up to 400 times that of a traditional field for certain crops. And you may be asking the question, how are you going to feed the world with lettuce? Well, we're not. We've already grown over 40 types of different crop, including uh, strawberries and radishes. And we're now really focusing on these second generation crops of fr for fruits and root vegetables as well that will actually help feed larger populations. And this is really where you guys in the Green Challenge comes in. At the moment, we supply a number of small farms in the UK, but our vision is global. And we want to export this, uh, this technology to people all around the world that are suffering worse resource constraints than we are here in Europe, such as in China, in Africa, and in, South, uh, and in the rest of Asia. And the savings we can get in this are absolutely staggering, just on lettuce alone. So by, by building these indoor farming facilities worldwide, we can secure and safeguard our food production for future generations. Improving the efficiency of our agriculture and allowing our natural ecosystems to thrive once again. 
Thank you very much for your time. Look forward to your questions.